Danny and Max Ferguson, and today I'll be I'll, I'll be trying my social murder uh, pitch uh, and my idea for it. So um, at the beginning, the uh, story of it is um, it's about a, a true story of an unsolved murder of Mrs. Caroline uh, Lerard. She was murdered in a large country estate, um, and after her husband uh, Charles Edward Lerard, the major uh, sergeant, uh, the major the major sergeant uh, general. Um, attended afternoon walk, a afternoon walk together. They um, both go their separate ways because he had to go collect his uh, his golf clubs, and she had to go home for afternoon tea for uh, so they were home married. When they both suddenly come, um, to, uh, they both uh, go to look for a married. Uh, so they both look at uh, Caroline because um, they try and make you find her because she hasn't come home. So they both um, go look for her and um, they both suddenly come across a dead uh, corpse on the ground and it sadly happened to be uh, Caroline Lerard and no one knew who happened uh, or who the murder was um, except from when the police were found they uh, had um, uh, the husband become the suspect of the murder. Uh, before I, I actually had a um, birth idea which didn't portray much uh, detail within the actual pitched idea. So I came up with another idea, and again, it wasn't as good in detail. So I came up with a third idea, which has been portrayed in a lot more detail and um, more detailed explanation about the idea itself. My final idea is, at the beginning, I want to have a big, bold title of the joke of social murder at the beginning to basically portray a um, Basically, that stands out to your to, um, to the audience, so they know what it's about. And they both go for a walk together, um, and then uh, her husband, uh, Mrs. So the, the husband uh, Charles, um, walks to the door and basically starts having a debate with um, Caroline's friend Mary, with uh, basically demanding who, um, basically where, basically where she was and stuff like that. Uh, the next shot would be like it would jump cut to a gun being reloaded. And uh, shot three times, which is which happened in the actual true story of, of, of the Joker murder, which will also portray the emotion of fear. While the gun is being reloaded, I'll have an omniscient voiceover of the debate playing over the gun being reloaded and shot, so it shows it how it like so it basically shows that he's talking and he's basically like really powerful. And then the screen goes to black as the final bullet was shot to create excitement. I'll then have a slow motion of the bullet uh, shell falling to the ground, which basically shows basically what's happened. Uh, the scene will then jump to black to portray also excitement as well. And I'll have a tracking shot of the murdered thief um, as he or she, we don't know who it was, they, as they run away. Uh, and then jump to another black screen to, with a title saying who do you think it was. And then we'll have another, uh, it'll have a first person uh, view shot. So it basically shows her, basically it, it shows uh, Caroline's um, point of view uh, where, by when she was shot. So, um, and then it will go to another black screen um, as the character falls to the ground. And then you have a shot, like a medium shot of Caroline uh, Lerard falling to the ground as she was shot again. And I'll have another tracking shot uh, following the murderer uh, running from behind, which will be different from before as the first tracking shot was of the thief and then it goes into another shot which will um, portray more of the actual person who murdered her. And towards the end I'll have a zoom in shot of uh, Caroline um, basically looking down at, at, at her face to um, which will basically portray the ending of the uh, trailer. And then I'll have the title saying ending to be continued. My mood board that I've chosen are the um, as, so as you can see I have portrayed the costumes, the um, and who the murder who um, the uh, person that 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 murdered was, and I've also um, found some uh, different uh, novels. As you can see for this one here, um, the uh, footprint on the actual uh, scroll has basically helped me to um, decide the idea of having the shot of muddy footprints. As you can see there, and also there's um, the other a novel called In Cold Blood by Truman Capote, has um, basically shows there um, for the front cover of the book 
um, being in black and white, which is which has helped me to um to be able to have my actual trailer in in black and white. So it shows when the murder happened, which was in nineteen forty eight, on the twenty fifth of August. The filming locations will be at the uh, wartime bunkers at the back of uh, the Midgate College, uh, which at the Medway campus, which um, has basically the old wartime bunkers for the as the shoe is shut and the footpath as you can see and the bits of their papers from behind the college and um, that basically portrays the same similar scene and the, and the location of when it had or when it or sorry, of when it actually happened the shot type i have taken into consideration is to be portrayed close up medium shots the higher angles of the um, zoom shots which i'm going to also use obviously on the uh, at the end of, of the trailer to zoom into caroline which um, these shot types will increase the, pop the popularity of the audience. However, towards the end of the trailer, I will. Okay, sorry. The costumes and props that I've taken into um, into consideration for my idea uh, of the of the Jason murder trailer is to use costumes and props that are set in the year 1908, which is when the Jason murder first happened. Therefore, using similar costumes and props, we'll be able to set the scene of the same time of when the incident happened. The crew and cast that I will be needed um, to film the trailer will be the cast directors, the cameraman, the sound designer, the producer, the director and the editor. The uh, sound and music um, which I will also use, which I've said already about um, training the um, power of the omniscient voiceover, which is carried on in the story. The legal and ethical con um, considerations I've taken into consideration is that I need to make sure that I have portrayed and explained where I'm going to shoot the video footage for the Jason Murder trailer and why I've chosen the actual specific location. However, I also considered on what types of costumes and props that I will be using and why the costumes and props will be the correct appropriate fit for the Jason Murder scene. And uh, I'd like to say thank you for watching and if there are any questions.